The importance of speaking out versus the right tone. Many reach out to Evanston Live TV to express how they feel about issues and concerns in the community because they do not feel it is safe for them to speak out on their own. They fear the backlash of speaking out. Evanston Live TV platform is the voice of the people. Evanston, like the rest of the country, watched what happened in Nashville, but we tend to not connect the dots here in Evanston. Emphasis is placed on the tone of those speaking out when change is needed and answers and information is requested instead of concerns of the issue. The lives of children were the focus of lawmakers Justin Jones, Justin Pearson, and Gloria Johnson. They spoke out to the House to protect our children. Instead of listening to the valid concerns and issues the lawmakers were making, the House chose to expel the two lawmakers. The House shifted the public's attention from the lives of children being slaughtered to the tone of the lawmakers siding with the protesters in the community. Being silent and invisible rarely works for change. It only works for the status quo. It doesn't matter when the leadership is Euro-American, Black, Latinx, Native, Asian, etc. Instead of addressing their own actions that impact many, they shift the public's attention to whether or not the right tone was used by residents. When Evanston residents have valid concerns regarding the overspending on the new Robert Crown Center, residents were dismissed because of their tone. Those residents' concerns turned out to be correct as the Robert Crown Center has been a beast in costs. When questionable donations were made to an older person during an election, the community wanted answers. They were never given the platform to ask valid questions to get those answers. Instead, the concern was over their tone. Residents are expressing concerns over the new $1 billion Northwestern Ryan Stadium. They are demanding solid commitments from Northwestern University before the city council passes the vote on zoning. Some residents feel bulldozed over for speaking out. Certain leaders want to shift the attention to the tone of these outspoken residents, not the actual issue at hand. When community members pleaded three years ago with city council not to pass a basic housing program as their reparations without the option of direct cash payments, they were labeled divisive, crabs in a barrel, haters, and their tone became the focus, not the errors in the reparations program. The reparations committee attempted to rush to give $50,000 direct cash to only two residents who didn't qualify, but are also family members of an older person. The community had questions. The issue became their tone. It's like a Jedi mind trick. Don't pay attention to the actual issue. When the community had questions as to who would receive and who wouldn't and why, the focus was on the tone. When any leadership focuses on the right tone and uses the word divisive to describe community members who raise valid questions and real concerns, think of lawmakers Justin Jones, Justin Pearson, and Gloria Johnson, or other civil rights leaders who were not quiet and maybe did not have the right tone, but they brought change. If you have questions about any information Evanston Live TV has put out, please contact me directly and we can discuss it. Thank you.